Let's talk about some Pittsburgh Steelers news and notes. Mike Tomlin spoke today, the first Tomlin Tuesday of football season. It officially is back. And it, it's funny, I was telling you before the show, Mike started talking during the press conference and he was he, he was kind of riled up. Like you could tell he was excited. It was a good day for him. And then he starts talking and the production crew is like, whoa, 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 whoa. Not yet, not yet. And then, it, and then it just went back to normal Mike Tomlin Tuesdays, and I was, I was laughing. I was like, this guy had, he had a little pep in his step walking in there. Um, it was good to see. So plenty of notes. Obviously, the injury news from Isaac Siamalu, but Mike dove into a lot more, and I know we got some some nuggets here. What do you got for us? Yeah, let's actually start with that Isaac Siamalu news. He was the only player that was officially ruled out for week one against the Atlanta Falcons. Obviously, we all expected him to miss first handful of weeks. Mike Tomlin said he is officially week to week, but we expect him to miss uh, several weeks going into this season. Siamalu officially out. Also, though, good news, Troy Faltano is back on the practice field. So you lose one offensive lineman for the week, but you get another one potentially getting ready to suit up in week one. Yeah, it, it's a it's a tough loss for for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And we knew Isaac Siamalu was not going to play this week, but just to have it confirmed, I will say that it was good news because Tomlin made it very clear, like, hey, we're hoping to have him back sooner rather than later. And that was massive because I thought Isaac was going to be done for a month, maybe a little bit longer, possibly toss him on IR. It seems as if he will avoid all of that, which is huge news for the Steelers. And I'm excited to see who replaces him, how we dive into this, the younger guys for a couple of weeks. And yeah, the, the Atlanta Falcons have some dudes, and obviously the Broncos have some dudes, and the Chargers have some dudes, but this is a good test without anything crazy to toss at guys like Mason McCormick and Spencer Anderson to see how they adjust and to see how ready they are, and that's really what I'm most excited about. I don't think this is the worst news in the world for the Pittsburgh Steelers. It's obviously a massive blow, but to say, to come in here optimistic I think was a, a good sign and, and you where they really dodged a bullet in this one and potentially dodged a, a better one by getting Simalu back earlier than expected. Yeah, when the initial prognosis is he might be out for the season and it comes down to he might only miss a handful of weeks, especially considering he's one of your most experienced offensive linemen, somebody that you were really going to lean on, especially, you know, whether it's Dan Moore or Broderick Jones lean on, especially with a left tackle that is going to need a little bit of time getting his feet underneath him and a rookie yeah. center as well. So I think it is huge news, of course, that Siamalu is not out as long as we initially expected. But one name you mentioned in there, Spencer Anderson, who is, as of right now, expected to be the leader in the clubhouse to start at left guard. We learned that earlier today, but we also learned about Spencer Anderson is he's a backup tackle as well. Steelers hoping that <laughs> well, trades master of none does not you know, go hand in hand with Spencer Anderson. They're hoping that he's able to do a little bit of everything for them this season. Yeah, it's absolutely wild that Mike Tomlin spoke in this press conference and at one point named Spencer Anderson the starter for week one. And at the same time, in the same conversation, named him the backup tackle. If Troy Fatanu does not play, I don't know how you do that. I don't know how you take him off the field, say, hey, you are actually going to play jumbo tackle here. That's fine. We're going to give Dan Moore a breather. We just will either toss Mason McCormick in there or we just won't have a guard. That sounds good to us. It is nuts to me that the Pittsburgh Steelers are turning this direction. Now, obviously, in my head, it immediately made it somewhat clear that they are optimistic Troy Fatanu was going to play, that they feel they don't need to go out and get anybody, that things will be okay, that they will make it work. And on top of that, you know, John LeGlue is is not a bad player. And even if he isn't going to play much in this game, you could activate him or call him up from the practice squad and feel comfortable about him stepping into a very minimal role. I mean, playing that third tackle is it's not rocket science. If you have to step in as an actual tackle, it gets much more complicated, but in short notice, you could come in here. Essentially, the jumbo tackle is the nose tackle of the offense, and you could you could be okay in that situation. He also spent the summer with the Atlanta Falcons, and that's probably going to help his case and the Pittsburgh Steelers line as a whole, but still wild. But if you're going to take anything away from this, outside of the fact that Mike Tomlin announced that the starting guard is also the backup tackle, you should feel optimistic that Troy Fatan is going to play because it seems as if the Pittsburgh Steelers are pretty confident they'll get their rookie tackle back in week one. 
What's up, guys? It's football season, and we've teamed up with DraftKings. Right now, new customers who bet $5 will receive $250 in bonus bets instantly. Plus, you'll receive one month of NFL Plus Premium. It's hard to think of a better way to celebrate fall weather, your favorite jersey, and Sunday touchdowns than with the DraftKings Sportsbook app. Download the DraftKings app and use our promo code ALLSTEALERS. That's $250 in bonus bets instantly and one month of NFL Plus Premium after betting just $5. Stay in the action and use your $250 in bonus bets to bet anytime touchdowns on DraftKings. DraftKings is the place to bet touchdowns. If sports betting is not yet available in your state, don't worry. You could still join in on all the fun with DraftKings Daily Fantasy and have the shot to win cash prizes. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use my promo code ALLSTEALERS and bet just $5 on any wager and get $250 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code ALLSTEALERS only at DraftKings Sportsbook. And that's not all the offensive line news. It seemed to be a theme today as the one other discussion that happened and one other thing that Mike Tomlin mentioned is that Broderick Jones' status as far as whether or not he's playing left tackle or right tackle remains in the air. They said they'll let this week show them and guide them into what they're going to do. So Broderick Jones going into week one, we're at Tuesday already. They're not sure which side of the line he's going to play on Sunday. Yeah, it is. You could talk about Troy Fatani. You could talk about Spencer Anderson playing two positions. You could talk about losing Isaac Simalu. The most crazy thing, just eye-popping sentence that came from Mike Tomlin in this press conference was that it is still open for discussion on where Broderick Jones is going to play in week one. What are we doing? We screamed at the top of our lungs all summer long, continuity, 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 make it work, get the offensive line that you want. I don't care what that offensive line is as long as they have time to work it out. You made Broderick Jones play right tackle all summer long. You spent very minimal time with Broderick Jones playing left tackle, and we are four or five days away from the Pittsburgh Steelers taking on the Atlanta Fal Falcons in week one, and Mike Tomlin still isn't sure what his starting offensive line is going to look like, that is nuts. And it is one thing to say, oh, we lost a guy. We don't know who's going to replace him yet. It's a whole other thing to say we might move our starting right tackle to the left side and bench our starting left tackle for a rookie who hasn't played since the first preseason game. It just, it, it is nuts to me. That is Mike Tomlin spoke about versatility and Broderick Jones' answer and, and how that is an asset of his. To be honest, it is a massive weakness of the Pittsburgh Steelers and of Mike Tomlin's that they look so heavily into versatility in of linemen. Nobody cares. With the Spencer Anderson, a seventh round, you got to prove it to make this team situation. Okay, Kelvin Beecham, as Mike Tomlin referred to him as. I get it. As a first round offensive tackle, who is supposed to be the franchise left tackle of your of your organization. You don't need flexibility. I don't care if Broderick Jones can play across the entire line. You want to know what I care what he could do? Play left tackle well. That's all I care about. It is nuts to me that they still do not have a solidified spot for this guy or for their offensive line as a whole. And for those of you who are nervous about this becoming an issue, I would be equally as nervous because, man, it's, you're asking for trouble. You're asking for trouble if you are this uncertain four days out from your game in week one. Yeah, and I'm not one to pick apart Mike Tomlin's press conferences because I know that he's obviously very calculated in the words that he yeah, uses, but he of kind of you know, went back on his own words there because he said the Kelvin Beecham comparison. He said, yeah, he's somebody that came in with a lot of flexibility, which is the reason he was able to stick around, but then he found a specialty, and that's how he's been able to stay in the league for so long. And yes, yep. Kelvin Beecham is still with the Arizona Cardinals organization, just to, to you know, fact check that part. And yes. In the same breath, he's saying, well, Spencer Anderson's our starting left tackle or left guard and our backup tackle. Broderick Jones can go left or right. We're not sure what we're doing here. So why aren't you letting these guys get into positions that they're expected to be in? I, I think that yeah. is a, a dangerous game that the Steelers are playing. But again, 
maybe it works out. Maybe they do get to move those guys where they want, and they can sit from week one to week 18 with Fautanu on the right and Broderick on the left, which would be good. But I think there is a lot of questions, especially considering the fact that Fautanu has not played in four weeks. Yes. Yes, you are not. Look at you are not starting Troy Fatano in week one. We all know they're not starting Troy Fatano in week one. I just don't. Maybe it was a calculated. We're going to just mess with the Falcons heads. Maybe that was the move. But if it wasn't and there are serious questions about what's going on. You just the Tomlin's screwing up and it's a big loss and it's a big concern and criticism is warranted in this situation. Let's talk about game time. I could still taste the popcorn and the soda and smell the beer of my first Pittsburgh Steelers game. And yeah, the Jacksonville Jaguars might have won that day, but I will never forget how loud Heinz Field was and how rocking that stadium was on the North Shore. Game Time has this new feature called Game Time Picks that makes things like getting tickets to see your favorite teams play live even easier. Game Time Picks filters out all the fluff to show you only incredible deals on great seats so you don't have to waste time searching through thousands of tickets. I have an upcoming concert in Cleveland the day after the Pittsburgh Steelers play against the Browns. And instead of sitting there clicking on every single section, I'm just going to use Game Time Picks. Let's talk about why it's so great. Curation makes it easier to save more on sports, concerts, comedy, theater, etc. On top of that, you get all-in pricing, which means that you get the total cost up front with no surprise fees at checkout. On top of that, you get seat views because nobody wants to buy some nosebleed seats for cheap and take a guess on whether you're staring at a pole or you just got the greatest deal in the entire venue. Plus, the lowest price guaranteed or game time will credit you 110% of the difference. Game time ticket coverage means that your purchase is covered with the most flexible customer service policy in the ticketing industry. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code ALLSTEALERS for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code ALLSTEELERS for $20 off. Download game time today. Last minute tickets, low prices, guaranteed. 